Talking about life insurance is rarely anyone's list on anyone's list of fun conversations, but it's necessary to have uh, and it's impactful to your family members and the ones that you love. Navy Mutual is the oldest federally recognized veteran service organization. We provide counseling and service related benefits granted to active duty, retired and res uh, reservists uh, and separated veteran uh, veterans of the armed forces, not to mention their families. This includes SGLI, VGLI, survivor benefit plan, and everything in between. At Navy Mutual, we understand our members, uh, and we're here to provide life insurance coverage that protects the family at lowest to net cost possible. As a nonprofit organization founded by military members, we understand that worry, uh, and we understand the service uh, concerns with what you do out there. Uh, but we want to make sure that everybody is protected and taken care of on any uh, possible death. So that's why we provide coverage and financial protection for those that serve. Stay turned and listen and learn how life insurance works and what you need to know when you are searching for that perfect plan that's going to protect your family. Welcome, welcome. Today we're discussing how life insurance works and understanding your plan. I'm Ryan Hutchison. I'm Josh Williams, and we are the new member specialist here at Navy Mutual, and we're here to help you navigate your life insurance needs. Um, sometimes when you make purchases for insurance, like car insurance or homeowner's insurance, right, we're doing so because it's required by law. Um, with life insurance, though, that's not the case, right? It's something you're choosing to do because you love your family, want to protect your family, and make sure that they have the needs, um, even though you're not there, or the assets, I should say, when you're not there. Um, and a lot of times when we sign up for these types of policies, you know, we don't take the time. There's a lot of pages going on. You don't really know what you're looking for. We don't take the time to sit down and really read through all of the things that we need to to make sure it's exactly what you, you, you thought you were signing up for. So today, that's kind of what we're going to go over. We're going to hit on a couple of different key points of the big factors that you want to make sure you're checking out and looking for once you do sign up for that policy. Um, so I'm going to pass it over to Ryan and uh, he'll take it away. Yes, thank you, Josh. Uh, so yeah, the, the first step in all this, because you don't really know what you don't know until you know. Uh, and I know that sounds confusing, but hopefully we'll get a lot of these uh, questions answered. Uh, the first step in your search should be gathering some information, and those are called quotes in the insurance world. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Believe me, in the age of information, you can go on a lot of different websites and get a lot of different quotes. But keep in mind, a quote is just an estimate of what they think that cost will be. Um, and getting an estimate can sometimes give you a little bit of uh, information overload if you try to gather too many quotes. Um, so when you're looking, whether it's through the quote engine, uh, a live person face to face, or you call Navy Mutual uh, or meet somebody out there in the insurance world, you definitely want to make sure you understand that you want them to be able to understand what risk level you are, because the estimate is going to depend on a few, a few different factors. Uh, age, gender, uh, it's going to matter what type of coverage, length of coverage. Uh, so there's a few different factors. And you want to make sure you work with somebody that, that knows the nuances, uh, not only through the military world, but also through the insurance, uh, insurance world. Uh, so those factors that play into it, sometimes being in the military, can have a negative effect. Here at Navy Mutual, because we are the country's oldest veteran service organization and, and have a very special federal tax exemption, we can assume more risk than a lot of those other commercial insurers. And that's why we have zero war terrorism clauses and exclusions on our policies. So whether you're uh, you know, working at a desk or uh, working out there, uh, you know, in a plane cockpit or maybe deployed, can't even tell people what you do, uh, you're going to be protected no matter where you are in the world with Navy Mutual. Uh, so, you know, normally in the insurance world, higher the risk, more premiums. Uh, with Navy Mutual, we navigate the, the military community and, uh, you know, those, those job factors, risks aren't taken into consideration. 
uh, and a lot of, of what you're going to encounter with us is going to be different. So first step is get a quote, be educated, ask a lot of questions, make sure they're asking you a lot of questions. And remember, if you are working with Navy Mutual, a lot of those factors are, are taken out of the uh, consideration. Now, this is a conversation. This is not supposed to be a lecture. Uh, this is for you as the members or potential members and your families to, to really understand the value of Navy Mutual, but also just to kind of understand your life insurance policy you may already have or be searching for. So make sure you definitely use the chat feature, uh, shoot us some some questions, either uh, live or, you know, we're definitely going to be giving you our, our contact information if there are more personal questions that you want to ask you know, about underwriting and estimates and what may or may not uh, factor into to your quotes. So just make sure that you you use the link and, and you contact Navy Mutual or you can right now ask real time live questions to, to Josh and I in between the two of us. We got over 30 years experience in this uh, industry and uh, we happy definitely to help you. So uh, Josh is going to keep going and we're going to keep chatting unless we have any questions uh, we uh, we want to we want to ask anybody. Looks like right, we're good we go. so far. So um, now that you have the quote, right, the, the hard part's taken, taken place, you got the numbers, they send you the policy. Um, now you got to think about, okay, well, when you did this, you were talking to somebody over the phone most likely and, you know, had a couple different conversations and they were, they were your pencil, right? So there is that factor of human error, unfortunately, with everybody. So we always tell people that once you do get that policy, make sure you do take the time to at least look over some of the basics, right? So make sure things like, you know, your gender is correct on there. Make sure your name is spelled correctly. Um, do you have a middle initial or middle name that needs to be on there or a suffix of some sort, the third, junior, et cetera, et cetera. Because, um, you know, we've seen it where people have, you know, mom and dad, or not mom and dad, dad and son have the same name and there can be mix-ups um, for different types of paperwork and things like that. So that's super important to make sure that those key factors are taken care of. Um, another big one, and it seems obvious, but you want to check it, is the expiration date is the date that you guys talked about, the one that you're getting. You know, with term policies, there should be an expiration date listed on the policy. You know, if you took out a 20 year plan or a 30 year plan, it should show that date 20 or 30 years down the road, right? From the date that it's set to be effective. Now, if you have a whole life policy, maybe you're looking at it a little differently. Uh, maybe if it's a whole life because the coverage is forever, you wanna be more focused on what payment duration did you select? Did you do a uh, pay for life where you will be paying for the rest of your life? Or did you decide to have it paid off early, you know, and set it up for a 20 year pay? So you want to check all the boxes to make sure that all of those things are uh, exactly what you had discussed, because it is important, uh, but especially within the first 30 days of that policy where you're in a free look period to make changes, things like that with, with no real issue. Um, now, the whole point of life insurance is to what? Leave, leave coverage to a beneficiary. So that's another big one. Did you get the beneficiaries correctly? Um, did you have multiple beneficiaries listed? And were they going to want to, or did you, you know, break it up the way you wanted it? Did you, you know, the wife or, or, or spouse get half and the kids each get 25? You know, you do want to make sure that all of those things are the way you want them. And if not, again, really speak up and then have it adjusted. Um, and one of the, the kind of final but forgotten pieces is the riders, right? So there's a lot of things you can customize your policies with. And when it comes to Navy Mutual, luckily we give you a lot of our riders for free as long as you qualify for them, whether it be a chronic illness rider on the whole life policy or terminal illness rider that we offer um, on all of our policies. Um, but there's other types that you know companies offer, whether it's a guaranteed insurability, a guaranteed convertibility, um, are the children on a rider with the policy, um, even accelerated death benefit, all of these things, are you getting what you paid for or are you getting what they you know agreed upon for you? So those are some big factors that you do want to check in and make sure that it's it's listed on there. And again, if not, you need to speak up, you need to say something because it's your family, it's your your coverage that you're that you're playing with at this point. Um, if you are just joining in, again, we're kind of going over how and understanding your life insurance policy. Um, Brian just went over some of the, the basics of getting a quote. I just capped over some of the data points you want to be looking at. Again, use that chat feature, ask questions, or our information will be at the end as well. Um, if you want to reach out to us directly with some you know, uh, in-depth questions, we're happy to, happy to help you out. I'm going to pass it over to Ryan, though. He's going to go a little bit more in-depth on some of the rider exclusions and things like that. Uh, Ryan, go ahead. So this is 
the 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 forgotten piece of the policy that most people just look at their cover page seems right and they don't get to the provisions provisions are important because it's the legal definition it's the it's the the way that you you have that extra level of protection knowing exactly what you got because it defines it in those legal terms uh so you know making sure that you're looking at the provisions is important plus it gets you a little bit more uh comfortable with some of the jargon in that the uh, the industry because it usually defines specific terms as well so when you when you look at the provisions um it's it can be pretty intimidating but it doesn't have to be um so when you look at it or you want to give us a, a call we can even kind of help you walk through it and the definitions that you know we be we help you to say oh yeah this is what this means and this is what that means but this is the definition of being able to say okay my policy lasts for this long and for this price there are policies out there that have variable rates uh there are policies out there that have certain exclusions maybe mutual doesn't have exclusions or or fine print uh and so there's going to be a little less there on that end uh, but this is where we get most of our members asking oh i didn't know i'm a pilot and this policy with company won't cover me while i'm deployed or while i'm flying uh, active duty uh but when i'm home i'm fine uh when you know when you need it the most uh, there's also provisions that can kind of define certain riders that you purchase. Now, he talks about riders. Those are great ways to have a little add-ons to your policy. Most of Navy Mutual's uh, riders are, are added for free. We got, uh, I think, only one rider that you actually pay for. Uh, but a good example of this is, you know, a, a child rider. If you have, a, if you get a child rider in the provisions, it's going to talk about the ages that that policy will actually cover your child as part of your policy. Uh, so you have an 18 year old that uh, the rider only lasts to age, you know, 21 or 24. It might not make sense to pay for that rider. It might make sense just to get the child their own policy uh, because, uh, you know, you might want it beyond uh, a certain age. Um, so it'll define certain aspects that you really want to know uh, when you are getting a policy because we all say, OK, 30 year term uh this is the price okay so on and so forth but what does that mean and the provisions really kind of outline that um the the provisions will um also help you figure out what future features you may have sometimes uh when you're you're shopping for life insurance you don't really want to get into the nuances of it and the provisions say oh i have this insurability rider that allows me to extend the coverage or buy more coverage without underwriting uh, so, you know, we could sit here and talk about a lot of different provisions, but it's important to at least understand and, and double check, again, any kind of exclusions that may be in the provisions. And that's where it will be outlined because um, that's where we find the, the most uh, issues with other commercial policies with, with Navy Mutual. Again, I did say you could always call and ask us. Uh, because we don't have commission agents, we're salaried employees, our whole existence is to make sure that you're armed with information to make that educated decision. So feel free to call us, even if it's not about our policy, uh, you yep. can reach Josh or I or anybody on the team and we'll be happy to get you a subject matter expert. So um, thank you so much for time today. It's uh, It's been a pleasure and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions if we have any. And I'm sure Josh has got some final words as well. Yeah, um, actually, just one piece I meant to mention um, as you guys are looking through the policy is make sure that if you do set up, sign up for some sort of term coverage, right, if there's any sort of variable premiums, right, a lot of times they're going to have some sort of table that you can look at to show you what that increase looks like. Again, luckily with Navy Mutual, we write all level premiums and coverage, so you're not going to have to worry about that with us, but other companies do have those things. So again, you know, unfortunately, not everybody has Navy Mutual, so you want to make sure that you're looking at all the options out there. So be sure to check that table, make sure that you understand all the premiums, what they're going to really look at. Um, and that way, as you're doing your comparison, you can really make it apples to apples um, of choice to see what's going to be best to suit you guys and your families. But yeah, as Ryan said, thank yep. you for taking the time with us. We really do appreciate it. Good afternoon, Raymond, as well. Yeah. <laughs> And, and to to Josh's point, uh, we we have this example daily, but it's 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 really all moments uh, when somebody calls us. Hey, I got a quote from uh, from a company. They're this amount. I'm like, awesome. We're this amount. And they're like, why are you double? I'm like, I don't know. Are you sure it's a 30 year term? They go back through their notes. They go back through their email. Sure enough, Josh, it was a 20 year term. Right. And that is why we're double, right? Uh, so you got to remember that you know apples to apples and that term length is important. 
you could absolutely get a, a policy that seems to be very inexpensive that could last to age 80, but the price is only locked in for 10 years. And then after that, the price goes up and up and up. It's called a renewable term. And that's why you read the provisions and you look at the riders and really try to try to understand. So that was that was a good good point that we deal with and we take for granted because we deal with it on a on a daily basis. But if you're checking your policy and you're going through your you know checklist and you you re-listen to this uh, live stream because it'll definitely be uh, posted uh, on our website so you can refer back to it. And uh, I'm sure that, that you'll find uh, all the information you need. Awesome. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Absolutely. Take it easy. Till next time.